Okay, I'm Jeffrey Fox, and we're in the Big Data Applications and Analytics course, and we're doing Health and Medical Informatics, uh, the unit and section on that. And we're doing Lesson 4, which is Big Data and the Healthcare Industry. Big healthcare, the big data. All right, so here's a little bit of detail on this. I, I was. Um, I was a little tired when I was preparing this summary, because it just says, well, Accenture and GE did an industry survey, and here's some results of that survey. Actually, they did the same survey for, uh, which I, I used the same survey, focusing not on healthcare, but on manufacturing and other, and transportation in the uh, uh, sensor um, module. So this is, this is, the healthcare part of the same survey we covered there. All right, so this is the, uh, actually I think the same introductory slide. And uh, we have GE and Accenture working together. They surveyed industry and healthcare for the two. They did, this survey did not seem to distinguish the industrial internet, the industrial internet of things. And big data, because they're all closely related. And um, although they're not really quite the same thing, I mean, big data and industrial, and they're just presumably more generally the Internet of Things, industrial Internet of Things. So, big data analytics is a particular focus of this survey. And the, there was an industry consensus or overwhelming consensus that uh, big data will dramatically change things. And it will make things, it will change. Those that don't participate will become uncompetitive. And there are various issues, security and data silos. And uh, data silos and system integration are sort of the same issue. I mean, the silo says you have unintegrated sets of data. And uh, that's going to delay things and make it all cost more and be harder to work. And uh, they were all uh, bullied by their boards to make progress. What is your big data action of the, of the day, the board will ask. So here is the link. So now we come on to their role, they're thinking about the role of analytics in, in uh, exploiting the industrial internet. And in this particular, in the area of clinical work, dealing with patients, financial, lowering costs and operational. Running an efficient system, and uh, they agreed that the analytics will or should be able to improve patient outcomes. But there are lots of problems for obvious reasons. The different parts of the organization want to do it their own way. That's always been true. That's the way human beings are. There are obviously money problems, and. Uh, we also have to integrate different uh, organizations together to make this work possible. So in the past, doctors just uh, sat in their chair and made their decision based on their brilliance and uh, their, what they learned at the university. And things hadn't changed very much. And they had some lab work which they could interpret. Now there's infinite amounts of data. Uh, that data is from so many different sources that people are no longer up to date on them, and therefore they have to rely on other people's um, input to, to be able to understand it. And so we have epidemiology, we have health informatics, and biostatistics. So these are the people who are going to come in there and fiddle around with the data. And of course, it doesn't even include big data experts. All right, so. So caring for patients, I told you, remember in the, the um, logo for the course, we have the word collaborative. So everything is collaborative. So here we have caring for patients is collaborative, which is what it means as a team activity. And you have to learn to work in teams. That's true in research in most areas of science, it's true here in healthcare. So. Let's see what the actual survey said. So here is some comments about uh, what the analytics is used for, improving patient flow, tracking and monitoring. This is the IIoT here. Plotting fiscal things, 
and clinical results, just doing giant averages, making certain we can do more for fewer people, streamlining the operations by making everything smooth and we don't have to wait six hours for, or days and weeks or months to get things done where you'll know instantly because all our little bits and bytes will mingle up and produce an answer immediately and we won't have to wait. And uh, we will be able to find better clinical procedures. We will integrate from uh, the physical therapy through the nursing, through the doctor, through the admissions process. And uh, we will take all this data and put it in databases and analyze it. We will manage groups epidemiology. We will up. We will. Uh, Optimize reimbursement, so actually there's some correlation between reimbursement and efforts taken. And I will see that we're the world's best hospital. And I will make certain we get all these payments and billing and everything done quickly. So if you look at this, there are three different bars here, but there are, I don't think that was very, in, in a few odd cases, uh, there's not a lot of differences between the bars. Although here, like improving patient flow as more more uh, yeses for um, the clinical side, whereas this one here, benchmarking performance has fewer. I'm not quite certain why that is or whether it's even significant. It's not a huge difference. Um, like, like here, clinical impact is small for optimizing clinical procedures. That doesn't sound very reasonable. Anyway, we have up here. Improving patient flow and tracking everything up in the 50 to 55 percent region as the uh, what they can use analytics to do today. Whereas um, this thing here, which is probably the most interesting, which is consolidating data together, multiple different data sources to get uh, to get insight. That is still that's only at the 33 percent. Level at best. Why does the penalty for no action? Well, that's a cleaner one to do. Suppose you did nothing. What are you? What will happen? Well, we'll lose all our people who will get big data jobs in other hospitals. Uh, we will have to charge too much because we won't optimize things properly. So these were very highly positive. 75. Uh, here, you know, here's an actual technical conclusion within the hospital. Can you integrate operations? So maybe they. I think they do a reasonable job there. The more numbers here, which are tiny, no impact. We've already done everything we need to do, and we are, we don't need, we can't spell big data, so it's none of the above. So these numbers are pretty small. So this says that there's a general consensus that big data is happening and will have a lot of impact, and you better do something or else you'll no longer be an effective. Uh, Competitive uh, enterprise. So this is uh, where this is a a uh, survey on what they'll do. Um, these numbers are not, well, the you know the highest is around uh, 48 percent here. These two are 48 percent, and the lowest is here, 16 percent. So they're not. Dramatic changes here, and um, let's see here, which is possibly, well, we don't really, I mean, it's rather boring to track and report compliance, but it's up there at 30% as what they're expecting to do. Um, here, of course, the possibly the most, you know, here, analytics platform managing large volumes of data. Well, the only reason not to do that is you have it already. Um, so I'm a little surprised, actually, that, but I would think anybody who has it already would expect it to grow. So I'm a little surprised this number isn't bigger. So I would, find, I would expect rather more variation here, because this doesn't seem to say people have, um, have um, strong opinions. Like, this is sort of interesting that uh, over 30% expect to use cloud hosting. Um, here is the industrial Internet of Things monitoring healthcare equipment. Um, but there isn't actually a question here about um, um, real time analytics to make better decisions on, on patients and remove medical errors or something like that. That's what I would expect to see as a major initiative. 
All right, the outcomes. Improve profitability. That's got the biggest one. That's on the operations side. Here we are at 66%. More money going to the shareholders. Here's probably the more um, better clinical outcomes. That ought to be, uh, that's up pretty high, 60, 59% to 62% operations. Reducing p patient uh, waiting time. Improved, I know these are sort of the trivial ones, because uh, these I think, uh, this is the most interesting one. Um, maybe also this one, improved coordination. Because big data ought to help coordination, because it ought to be able to uh, get the data from the different parts of the system, ought to, linking them together and looking at correlations, ought to be able to do better coordination. Here we are, reduction in cost. Uh, it's interesting that uh, that's not, not a critical thing that people expect to happen. And uh, here we have, I think, things about medical errors, preventable adverse events. So I'm not actually certain what an HAR, health, accidental, something or other. Um, anyway, so look up HAIs, please. All right, so that's the um, end of this uh, short uh, lesson on the results of this survey. It doesn't get, it's pretty, like many surveys, rather high level. But at least says that the healthcare industry knows that big data is important. And that's, that's um, all you should take, a, take a, away from this. So that's uh, Jeffrey Fox signing out at the end of this lesson. Thank you very much indeed.